<laughs> so th these, this French class was going on, and as you know in French, every word has a feminine or a masculine connotation. You have to use the correct conjugation in order to have it be good French. So the French teacher said, what do you think computers should be? Do you think they should be feminine or masculine? And the class divided up, and the girls thought of the reasons why a computer should be feminine, and the boys thought of reasons why it should be the opposite. So the groups of girls concluded that computers should be referred to in the masculine gender because one, in order to get their attention, you have to turn them on. <laughs> Two, they have a lot of data, but they're still clueless. <laughs> they're talking about men now, or I mean computers. They're supposed to help you solve your problems, but half the time they are the problem. <laughs> And four, as soon as you commit to one, you realize that if you had waited a little longer, you could have had a better model. <laughs> the boys, on the other hand, decided that computers should definitely be referred to in the feminine gender because, one, no one but their creator understands their eternal logic. <laughs> Second, the native language they use to communicate with other computers is incomprehensible to everyone else. <laughs> Three, even your smallest mistakes are stored in long-term memory for later retrieval. <laughs> and four, as soon as you make a commitment to one, you find yourself spending half your paycheck on accessorizing it. <laughs> that was a good joke.